In a technology world that generally follows Moore's law, where microchip transistor counts double every two years, this trend facilitates the achievement of enhanced processing capabilities or the creation of more compact devices. However, in stark contrast, the evolution of battery technology has been notably sluggish, especially when it comes to critical factors like energy density and cost efficiency. This gradual pace was unacceptable for Elon Musk, given that batteries are at the core of nearly all of Tesla's current product offerings. It was in 2020 when Elon Musk publicly fully committed Tesla into the battery arena, introducing the revolutionary and homegrown 4680 battery cell. The 4680 has been engineered to be quite versatile, as when questioned about the potential disruption of Tesla by future battery chemistries including solid-state batteries, Elon Musk confidently stated that their cells could adapt to various chemistries with minor adjustments. Now Tesla has enjoyed a long-standing collaboration with distinguished battery scientist Jeff Don and his research lab where their ongoing efforts are continuing to yield significant breakthroughs. Recently, this lab unveiled game-changing advancements that promise substantial cost reductions, heightened energy density, and extended battery life, particularly in the context of already widely adopted key battery chemistries. Notably, it was revealed that some of these breakthroughs are particularly relevant to the renowned sodium ion batteries, which have the potential to disrupt their lithium-ion counterparts. This groundbreaking research could translate into direct enhancements for Tesla's vehicles, offering significant improvements in range, cost-effectiveness, and overall longevity. So let's delve into the future of sustainable transportation as we unveil the remarkable innovations discovered through Tesla's partnership with their pioneering battery research lab. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. Tesla officially partnered with Jeff Don's world-renowned battery research laboratory in 2015, signing an exclusive contract with the team working out of Dalhousie University. Tesla provides funding and has also set out a list of goals for the research organization to collaborate on. These involve the cost, energy density, safety profile, lifetime, and sustainability of battery cells. It's intentionally left a little vague and open-ended in order to foster innovation without restricting the research team. They essentially experiment with different processes and materials in order to discover new methods and technology in order to better manufacture these battery cells. Though it's interesting that manufacturability isn't one of the five goals that Tesla has set forth. However, that might be more in the realm of Tesla's expertise, where they can get new data and chemistries from the research lab and then select what they want to mass produce. The ability to scale massively is also perhaps embedded within the five goals. For instance, cost is a key factor. If the cost is low, then the materials are likely easy to source. If the battery contains an expensive and rare metal like silver, for example, then it can't be scaled as the cost would be prohibitively high, but that would be filtered out early on in the research process, since the team is inherently paying attention to lowering the cost. Tesla also enjoys working with this team because they invent their own tools when they're not available off the shelf. The research lab has developed an ultra-high precision charger that they use to accurately test batteries, and they've also built their own mass spectrometer for measuring various types of gases produced by potential side reactions within the battery, and this has led to new discoveries. The research team's culture is also very similar to that of Tesla's own culture, where they develop internally used tools in-house, mirroring exactly what they need and rely less on commercially available tools which look to solve general problems. Another benefit of the way that this partnership is structured is that the research team at Jeff Don's lab can wait two to three years before publishing a research paper, as stated in their exclusive interview with Electric Autonomy. This is important because they can test and refine their findings before publicizing them or even making them commercially available through Tesla. 
They can do this because Tesla provides long-term funding, whereas other research groups may not have this luxury and may depend highly on pushing out papers that may not be fully ironed out in order to acquire new funding as imminently as possible. Tesla doesn't care about this. They want real results to put into actual products, and they've provided the right incentives for the team, which tries to do things carefully to truly understand how they can improve battery technology. And the results have actually been quite astonishing. Earlier this year, for instance, one of the students working under Professor Michael Metzger, who focuses on improving lithium and sodium ion batteries, discovered a major breakthrough which applies to real batteries being shipped in products today. A student by the name of Anu Adamson noticed that unused battery cells that were sitting on shelves were curiously and inexplicably self-discharging. She found that a surprisingly common adhesive green tape used to hold components of commercial battery cells together contained a polymer that unexpectedly reacts with other chemicals within the battery. This in turn caused a parasitic electrode reaction, which drains the battery while it's sitting there doing nothing. And this has a profound effect on older battery cells for which certain insulating layers have started to deteriorate, which amplifies this unwanted chemical reaction. Interestingly, the best solution found was to remove this green tape and replace it with a thinner, cheaper adhesive that doesn't contain the polymer in question. So this not only reduces the immediate cost of the battery cell itself, but increases its longevity by maintaining a battery capacity that no longer degrades and discharges at this elevated rate over time. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. Tesla's research lab has also much more recently revealed a major exciting breakthrough with sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries have emerged as a promising new battery chemistry, offering potential advantages over traditional lithium ion cells. The technology has actually been around since the 70s, but when lithium ion took hold, the market shifted its attention away from sodium, which lost traction due to certain limitations. However, in 2021, the largest battery manufacturer in the world, China's CATL, reignited interest in sodium ion batteries by announcing its first generation sodium ion cell, as well as solutions that integrate both sodium ion and lithium ion into a single pack. One of the key advantages of sodium ion batteries lies in the abundance and accessibility of sodium as a raw material. Unlike lithium, which is primarily sourced from a limited number of refineries, mainly in China, sodium can be readily extracted from the ground, making it a cost-effective and widely available option for battery production. It's estimated that a sodium ion battery from CATL could be roughly 30% cheaper in terms of dollars per kilowatt hour than a lithium iron phosphate battery, one of the cheapest lithium ion based battery cells. Sodium is the sixth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Now that said, lithium is still very commonplace as well, and just not widely refined, especially in the United States. Tesla's involvement in the development of lithium refining facilities signifies a potential game changer for the electric vehicle market. While lithium ion batteries remain a dominant force, the establishment of lithium refineries in the United States could alleviate some of the supply chain challenges and reduce dependence on foreign lithium sources, particularly in China. However, that isn't ruling sodium-based batteries out of the question. Tesla's collaboration with the Jeff Don Research Group Labs indicates a significant commitment to the exploration and enhancement of sodium ion battery technology. One of the critical challenges associated with sodium ion batteries has been their sensitivity to moisture, requiring the manufacturing process to be conducted in dry rooms, which is an extremely costly endeavor. However, earlier this year, one of Metzger's students, Dr. Libin Zhang, introduced a total breakthrough for sodium ion technology by adding 2% calcium to the battery materials. This innovation rendered the material stable in air for extended periods of time, eliminating the need for expensive dry rooms during manufacturing. This development represents a substantial leap forward in the production feasibility of sodium ion batteries, making them potentially more accessible and cost effective for mass production, which Michael Metzger says is a huge deal. Now, while sodium ion batteries offer several advantages, they're not without their challenges. One significant hurdle arises from the high solubility of sodium salts, 
which surpasses that of lithium-ion batteries. This characteristic presents two primary issues that affect battery lifespan. First, it accelerates the breakdown of the battery's electrolyte, leading to a shorter life cycle. Second, it can trigger the movement of certain substances to the positive electrode, increasing the risk of the battery discharging prematurely. While Tesla's advancements in sodium ion battery technology are promising, it's important to acknowledge that there's still considerable work to be done to address these challenges comprehensively. But one of the real takeaways here is that Tesla's collaboration with Dalhousie's research group means that Tesla is indeed taking a very serious look at sodium ion technology. They're experimenting with it to try to find ways of improvement, and we're already seeing the progress being made with these exclusive breakthroughs that the lab is inventing. This may also go hand in hand with Tesla's 4680 cells, which again can be tweaked to support other battery chemistries should Tesla decide to pursue other viable alternatives. Now Tesla's innovation engine doesn't stop there, and this next invention may be the most exciting yet, as it appears to be the most immediately practical solution for commercial products. Elon Musk has touted a million mile battery in the past, meaning it would show little to no degradation after driving a million miles on this battery pack, which is basically the lifetime of the car. But this seems to now be an understatement. Tesla's new battery has actually been tested in the lab to go 3.7 million miles, which is equivalent to roughly 100 years of typical driving. Now, while Elon Musk hasn't talked about this recently, many have assumed that the LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries which are known to have excellent charge and discharge cycle life, must be the million mile battery. However, it's not. The 3.7 million mile battery, and counting, is actually an NMC battery, which is the popular nickel manganese cobalt chemistry that Tesla has used in the past and plans to use in a subset of its mid-range vehicles and storage products. This specific chemistry is called NMC532, referring to the specific ratios of nickel, manganese, and cobalt, and it appears to be outshining LFP cells big time. These NMC cells have higher energy density as expected, but surprisingly also have a cycle life that greatly exceeds that of LFP cells at various temperatures, which is unusual. These batteries perform well at higher temperatures, better than LFP when using specific electrolytes, which are controllable. So it's the best of both worlds in terms of combining the benefits of energy density and long cycle life into a single type of cell. And contrary to popular belief, the team at the lab says that instead of degrading, the battery cell is counterintuitively getting better and safer over time. And so this can have incredible implications in Tesla's future products. So Tesla has essentially hit the jackpot here when they found a research lab that shares a very similar culture to the company and partnered with them in such a way that they're able to continue to incentivize innovation. They're pushing the boundaries to try and accelerate the pace of battery technology, which seems to have been put on the back burner as compared to something like computer chips and transistors. While Jeff Don's research group continues to deliver breakthrough after breakthrough, Tesla is also quietly integrating these advancements into next generation products to be sold to consumers. So what do you think is the most exciting aspect of the latest battery innovations discussed in this report, and how might it impact our daily lives? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's unexpected Cybertruck features, be sure to explore our brand new collection of t-shirts and merch in the description below. We've got options on Teespring, Amazon, and Redbubble, so you can choose the design and availability that suits you best. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.